my channel. My name is Keely and today we're going to be decorating for Valentine's Day. I can't believe it's already Valentine's Day and I feel like I'm kind of behind. Today we're going to be decorating my house. I have a couple different spaces to decorate to just kind of give it a little bit of Valentine's Day vibes in here. And then later in the video, I'm going to be making a Valentine's Day charcuterie board. I am a charcuterie queen. I love making boards for every holiday. I love anything that's festive and cute. Although I am not a talented cook, I do love the fact that I can arrange food to look really nice and it gives the illusion that I know what I'm doing. I am in my subtle decor era. I want it to just have like a Valentine's Day vibe without it looking like Valentine's like threw up in your house and you decorated with hearts everywhere. Although my sweater would give the illusion that I am like super bright and crazy, I'm really like a neutral kind of person and I feel like my decor is kind of transitioning to be a little bit more subdued and subtle. Now if you've never seen me before, I'm a 32 year old mom of three, I live in North Carolina and I make videos on the internet. All those are pretty general and obvious facts but what you might not know is that I'm a regular person with a regular house, I just happen to show mine on the internet. Uh, my house is messy sometimes, it is just a normal house, it's not perfect by any means but I like to be realistic and show that to you guys regardless so we're gonna be realistically decorating today and I hope that you guys will enjoy it first we're going to unpack my Valentine's Day decor we're gonna talk a little bit about it we're gonna go through it and see what I'm gonna actually be using because like I said I feel like I've kind of like transitioned to a new decor style and I don't know if I'm gonna like a lot of this stuff anymore so let's check it out okay so here's my tote my Valentine's Day tote. So let's go through these decorations and see what I can do with all of this this year. I've got this vase. I it's like a metal vase. It's not really. I I'll probably I might can use it. Maybe I'll put it outside. I don't know. I painted this sign. Maybe I'll put it on the porch. Little flag. Okay, I can do something with that. I just collect things. I swear. Like, like what are these? So <laughs> why? Why do I have these in here? We have these. Um. These are probably from the Dollar Tree. I don't know, I like to buy stuff to do crafts with the intention that I'm gonna craft with my children. And uh, yeah, we all know how that goes. So I think I've had this for like my entire life. Not sure where it came from, but I remember this every year. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. See, I like this vibe. This is cute. All right, we've got a gnome. She's cute, right? She's cute. But these are peanut butter and jelly. So that's kind of cute all on its own, you know. Got some little signage. This is really dirty. I'm not sure what happened with that. That sucks because this is really cute. It says made with a whole lot of love and a whole lot of butter. Let's see if I can clean this because I like that. Another Nomi. Have these in there from Dollar Tree probably. Yeah, these remind me of Dr. Seuss. These are not the vibe. I mean, maybe they're the vibe. Maybe I can use them. I don't know. This is why I don't get rid of anything because I'm like, maybe I can use that. Can't use that. What are you talking about? Okay, this is cute. I also do things like this and put things like this in here. Like, look at that. That's for my kid. Uh, that's from 2022, so that's not that old. Well, maybe it is that old. It's 2024. My God. This is something my child filled out. This says, I love to play with my hamster. Um, we've never had a hamster, but okay. Very nice. Um, what do you guys do with this kind of stuff? Like, I don't I don't know what to do with it. You just take it out every year and just like look at it and put it back in the box because that's what I do. I've had kids for like 11 years and I do this every year and I'm like, what do you do with this? Just a plain old heart that I probably thought I was gonna paint but it didn't. Okay, all right. Some plates, another heart. This side is a chalkboard. I could write something witty on there maybe. Are you done? This is kind of cute. I mean, it's subtle, I guess. Got this. We got this, what is this? Oh, more more extra Valentines. These say these have ducks on them. It says, you quack me up. Okay, napkins and felt, random things. Heart shaped Easter eggs, I think. Another heart on a string, or it was on a string, it's not on a string now. Valentine's Day card that I didn't, it's brand new. This, this just says love. It's also really dirty. What happened to these? All right, some little cups. It's not looking promising in here. What is this? If you were a Ray Dunn girly like I was for a while, um, our children are just gonna have memories of like all sorts of plates and stuff with just like words on them. And I don't know how I feel about that. Got this sign, heart box. Why is everything in here kind of useless? A lot of like party supplies. I don't know why I have all this. I like Snoopy. I'm gonna put that out somewhere. This is useless. 
All right, let me show you what I've got this year so far. And then we're gonna see what we can do with all of it, I guess. Picked up a couple things. So we've got these little grass shenanigans. They like go in a vase. I got this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think this looks like a butt. This is cute, right? I love tea. So I thought this was cute. That's a cute little Valentine's Day thing, kinda. I got this to put my tea in. It's blue, but I feel like it's like romantic, you know? Look at this! Oh my, look at this. It says spill the tea. It's like for your tea bag. Cute. And then I got these. They have teacups on them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go like teacup vibes over in the kitchen. I've got a lot of good stuff here to work with, but let's see what we can do with what we got. I'm sure I've got some like flowers somewhere that I can use, right? Like some, some pink flowers. I don't know, let's find out, let's go. So I have a few different spaces to decorate today. Starting out with the kitchen, I'm decorating this dresser that holds a bunch of random things like lunchbox containers and party supplies. On top, I have this mirror that I got from a thrift store. My favorite battery powered candles that I cannot recommend enough some fake tulips, and this cute little print that I got from Timu. As always, I'm gonna link everything I can down below. Of course, I like to reuse things and thrift, so I can't link it all, but I'll do my best. Most of my decor is extremely affordable because I am cheap. <laughs> so it's usually from Amazon or Timu, so you can always count on me to find you affordable decorations. I always use a cutting board to cover this ugly plug. This is the plug for the lights that go under our cabinets, which I love having, but I wish that I had some that didn't have this plug. Anyway, I use the cutting board to cover it up, and then I usually put some kind of floral and my tea stuff. In the last year, I have become a tea girly, and my favorite is the Twinings Calm Tea. It's just a nice little ritual at night to drink some tea and chill. I just like to tell myself I'm in like my peaceful era now while I read a book and drink tea every night. <laughs> In case you're wondering what my video plans are for 2024, let me tell you so you can make sure you subscribe and don't miss out on anything. This year I'll be doing a bunch of projects, I'm sure, but the first thing I'm gonna be doing is my daughter's room refresh. She's getting a new bed, organizing, moving everything around, all that good stuff. Then I'll be sharing a front porch makeover that's perfect for any time of year and can easily last all year long, which I'm really excited about. Of course, I'll be decorating for holidays and doing DIYs. I usually decorate for all the seasons, share outdoor makeovers as the weather gets warmer, and do a ton of projects. I'll also be posting a ton of fun stuff on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, so y'all can see even more over there. I'm getting a new couch soon. If you've been watching while, well, I got a couch last year. I got this one and I do like this couch. It's super comfy. It's just not the vibe anymore. I want something darker because we have a baby now and I hate washing the covers constantly. I had actually bought a second set of covers and that was helping a lot. But then I accidentally dyed them all pink in the washing machine. So I decided it was just time for a new couch. I'll have more details soon, but I'm super excited because the company says it's extremely family friendly, cleans really well, and is super sturdy which obviously I need with three children. We 
recently got this cabinet behind the couch and I am in love. It's actually two cabinets pushed together and we got them at Aldi. I couldn't believe it. But if you're familiar with Aldi, you know that the stuff comes and goes really quickly. So I'm gonna try to find something similar to link for y'all. It looks so good though. I've been really trying to slowly switch out the furniture in my house for better things that I like. I have always bought something cheap to repaint or just dealt with what we had, which is fine and totally normal to do because it does take a long time to get your house exactly the way you want. I don't care what all the influencers do, but it's not normal to get all new furniture at once. I can't do that. That's expensive and not realistic, and that's not for normal people. So if you're working on making your house exactly how you want it, just remember, it's okay for it to take a while. In the long run, you will end up loving it a lot more. I know I'm technically an influencer, but I like to also consider myself a de-influencer too, so here is me de-influencing you to spend all your money redoing your house at one time. The vibe for my Valentine's Day decor is romantic, soft, and traditional. I really have been into more traditional and like transitional decor with like neutrals and you know, natural things and golds and all that. I love things that can be used multiple ways and I love things like books and candles to give it like a nice ambiance without being overly expensive and dramatic. As you can see, I have these battery powered candles everywhere. They're perfect because they last through all the seasons, they go with everything. And my battery hack is to get your batteries for these candles from Harbor Freight. They are super inexpensive. So let's make a cheese board now. I love a good cheese board. I mean, who doesn't like snacks? And this is literally one giant snack. We eat things like this all the time on random occasions and our whole family loves it. I mean, honestly, you can make it dinner because you're the adult now, so you can do whatever you want. It's basically an adult Lunchable. Anyway, to make it a Valentine's Day theme, I made some salami roses using a champagne glass. This is a hack that blew up on the internet, but if you've never seen it done, it's very easy. You just layer the salami on top of each other, alternating around the glass, and then when it's all full, you turn it over, pop it off, and you have a rose. Super cute, perfect for Valentine's Day. I also have some cute Valentine's Day themed candies, pretzels, and crackers. Everything on this board is from Fresh Market, which is one of my favorite places to buy like unique things for cheese boards. But I also recommend Aldi for meat and cheese because it's super cost effective. My tips for creating the perfect board are to make sure everything touches. You don't wanna see any of the board under it, and you want it to look like really compact. Don't put like items or colors together. You wanna to create visual interest. And make sure things have some height. Fold things, stack things, and generally just make them as tall and voluminous as possible. Trust me, it's super easy once you try it, and the possibilities for what to put on a board are endless. It's so crazy how you can put some cheese on a piece of wood and suddenly you're Martha Stewart, but you are. That's how it works.
you all. So here is a little close up of all the decor. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And thank you so much for watching. I love decorating with y'all, hanging out, and appreciate you all so much. You have no idea. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I really do hope to see all of y'all in my next video. It should be coming out soon. And by the way, if no one's told you today, you're doing a great job. I'll see you next time.